Yes, so welcome aboard again today, my wonderful viewers. For the brief intro you just seen, I'm sure you enjoy the vibe that is just going around. So today we'll be, we'll be looking at bit greeting. Just as you can clearly see it, this is the feature here by this side. So bit greeting is actually a simple feature that spice up the beat of a song, especially when you are about playing around with the beat. You want to pick the individual element that makes up the complete beat and play around with it. That is where the concept of bit greeting comes into play. So I'm going to stop it now. I'm going to use my drum samples as an example so that you see what I'm talking about. So whenever you want to play around with bit greeting, before we see the mapping, this is it. This is my individual drum part. This is it. So I want to play around this particular drum. Let's assume the drum, this drum sample is in a particular song and I want to pick it single-handedly to play around with it or a particular element in the song. Just like the concept of the beat greeting is. We have one, two, three, four. So you want to put it in a very spicy way. Instead of doing one, two, three, four, just like this, you do. You can see. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. You see? So this is the same way I can pick a particular one again. You can see? So this is the same way that the big reading is being used. So take a look at it from here. You can see there are one, two, three, four. You can see? I'm picking this particular sound in the beat that is playing. So I'm going to repeat it four times within a very fast moment. That means it's going to be played in a very fast way within a particular time frame. So this is one, two, three, four. In this case, I'm picking another particular sound. In this case, I'm going to play three times. I'm going to skip one. In this case, at the same thing again, this is another sound element again. You see they are divided, they are grouped. So each group is referring to a particular sound sample. So this is why they do it that way. So anyone that you want to include, how you want it, you pick, you highlight it. You highlight it the way you want to look at it. The one you don't want, you can remove it. We are going to test it now, you will see. I'm going to start the beat again so that you see what I'm saying before we go into the mapping. So this is it. Let's play the sound again so that you see it. So you see it does ta -ra -ra. So that particular sound, ta -ra -ra -ra, it picks it four times. That is the first beat of the song. This particular part is, is the second beat. This is third beat and this is the fourth beat. So that is how it is. I'm going to remove this same four element again. I'm going to repeat the same thing I just did. Now you see what will happen. This is it. You will see just one. So it's going to be one time. So it doesn't look as if there was something there. Even though it is actually being activated. But by the time I introduce two, I'm going to do it again. This is it. It does it that is three times so we now have the fourth one which gives that correct vibe i'm going to change this last one again into four spaces again you see so you see if this one is just normal i'm going to make it for now one two three four i've completed it you just see now again So you see, -ra -ra -ra. so that is how it is. So that is a good thing about this uh, beat greeting feature. It's actually a very good feature that you use to spice up the beat instead of just allowing it to be playing the way you want. You want to give you, you want to create that connect, that vibe in your audience to keep them awake. So let's get to see the mapping. This is you go to your settings as usual. In my own case, I'm using this particular key command, then column. This is it. This is a simple. This is the mapping for it effect underscore active then bit grid just the name bit grid in a quotation mark then while press why we have this while press at the end of it here is i don't want the situation where when i press that particular key it activates it permanent so whenever i want to play around there, i just activate it well, as soon as i leave my hand the effect goes off that's why i have it that way because you don't want to have it to be tied to a particular feature on the song so that is the beauty of it so i'm sure you enjoy this particular part so let's get to see more as time goes on and don't forget to keep a date as i will be giving you more future if you have if you are just new to this channel i'm sure you are missing a lot just try to check out all these drum samples there are a lot of things i'll be putting up in that particular link i've been giving some of them might likely be for some few coins but don't worry it's something that you can see for it's really worth it so let's get to flow again <laughs> Okay, 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 okay. 
Guitar. Yes, it's party time. Let's get your dancing shoe. Let's get to groove. Yes, catch you in my next video. Okay, okay, okay.